I'm already mentally there. I'm ready. Let's go. Welcome back. In today's video, I'm going to go over all the things you need to pack for an all-inclusive. I will say I have already done a travel video. So a lot of the stuff that I mentioned in that video, obviously I will be taking that stuff and I don't want to repeat. So hopefully I didn't. Um, if you want to watch that one, watch that one first because you'll get some of the stuff that um, hopefully I'm not repeating in this one. <laughs> but these ones are going to be specifically for a all-inclusive in uh, Mexico. So I'm going to Mexico. Okay, let's get started. Okay, first let's talk about what I'm wearing. So a hat is crucial. I am not tan. <laughs> so I, and I burn very easily. So I need to protect my skin as much as possible. And so I did buy this hat on Amazon and it's not too big, but not too small. It will cover a lot. Uh, not only like the back of uh, my neck and my back if it shows, but also you know, my forehead and a lot of my face. I obviously plan to bring these sunglasses. I only have one pair of sunglasses that are um, prescription. So I don't have, uh, I saw so many while I was out looking for stuff that I really, really wish I could have gotten. But anyways, the next thing is my earrings. I got these for my birthday, like an early birthday present from my in-laws. Thank you, Pam and George but they got it for me early. My birthday will be while I'm there. So I'm like just so excited that I got these. I, if I didn't mention this already, I obviously am gonna link everything that I'm talking about below if there is a link to it. Um, obviously the glasses are a no because those are prescription, but everything else that is linkable, I will link below so you can find them. These earrings are epic and I'm so excited about it. The next item is this shawl. It is like a, see-through very light kind of you can just throw it over like a bathing suit really great for a sort of cover-up it doesn't go really long it goes to about a little below below the hips and then i have another one that i am also bringing and this one goes longer it goes to almost like where the back of your knees are which i enjoy so both both are coming with me I intend to wear or live in them the whole time I'm there because I plan on, my whole plan is to just sit by the pool. It, when I say all-inclusive, it means all the food and all the drinks are all included. So I plan to sit by the pool and have drinks be <laughs> handed to me all day and I'm just going to chill out. Um, I am going to be bringing this kind of side note. I know I'm talking about what I'm wearing, but I am going to be bringing this. They said, or one of the things that I saw was they don't do straws there anymore because they're trying to save on the plastic. And then if they're giving you a drink, usually will come in a small plastic cup. But because this time of the year, it's going to be July 1st when I get there. This time of the year, it's so hot there. They're saying that even in those little cups that your drink's going to get really hot really quickly. So if you bring something like a hydro flask, not only will you have the straw, but it will keep it cooler longer. And my husband did call the concierge and they did say that you can bring your own container and they'll make your drinks in your own container. So I'm gonna bring mine. Even if I don't end up using it for that, I will for sure use it for water, so. The next thing I'm wearing is this, this is actually a romper. I got it at Target and it is legitimately the perfect thing for this all-inclusive vacation because it is a romper but it's bathing suit material it has a built-in bra built-in uh panties and there are shorts at the bottom i will be living in this romper the whole time because it will be perfect for when i'm by the pool because it is in fact a bathing suit but it will be perfect if i want to go get brunch or go get you know lunch or whatever this looks like it's an outfit because it's a romper so I bought it in like literally every color. So I got it in this color, still kind of show you. This is the top. It does have like a little keyhole there and it does have adjustable straps, which is perfect. And then the bottom, so it does cinch in a bit, but I mean, it's so comfortable. It is not tight around the waist at all. It just has a little bit 
of cinch there so that it kind of looks like it overhangs like when you're wearing it, it's like a pretty little overhang there and then the shorts are not too short you can see that it's lined in there with the with the bathing suit kind of bottom there but yeah the shorts are not too short they're this is so comfortable so yeah I'm gonna just live in these the whole time I'm there and I'll just throw on one of these shawls over it a hat good to go so I got one in this color I also got like the navy color my only complaint with Target was that in these little rompers these are the colors they had black this kind of turquoise color and then dark blue. And I was like, where are the tropical colors? Come on. But they did have this in all sizes. So I will give Target that like from like small all the way down to very plus size uh, sizes, which is amazing to me. Um, and then I also am bringing this bathing suit. This is a bathing suit. This type of bathing suit is the one I get every single year in Target because I know it's the, it's the kind that I know I will like. And then every year they just come out with different colors and I just get whatever color is because I just love that bathing suit. It's comfortable and it hides all the things I needed to hide and it makes it so it's um, I don't feel self-conscious like when I'm by the pool. But it has a little bit of thicker straps. It does come down a little bit in the back so you don't feel like it's like a line across the top because I hate the ones that are like that. To me they're uncomfortable. But where it falls in the back, it like covers all the stuff that you want it to cover. So anyways, I'm bringing that, but likely I will end up wearing this romper to the pool. But I, I will bring that, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. Okay, the next thing I'm gonna go over with you is the shoes that I'm gonna wear. So I also found these at Target, which I think are literally perfect for this trip because they are flat, so they're going to be very comfortable. And they have this gold detailing. Hold on, let's see if it will focus, here we go. But it has that gold detailing. It reminds me of uh, some very expensive ones that I've seen at Nordstrom, but they weren't. They were like 25 bucks, I think, at Target. Absolutely perfect for this, because a few of the dinner places, I'm not gonna wanna get super dressed up. I know I'll be swollen after after flying and stuff like that. So these are these I can slip my foot into, but it's still nice enough to go to dinner. Perfect for an all-inclusive. I also plan to just bring some like, <laughs> they're so old, but just some like old flip-flops. Those are gonna be, um, you know, wearing at the pool or I'm not gonna care if I get like chlorine and stuff in them, you know, that sort of thing. Just old flip-flops, I will for sure be wear uh, bringing those. At the airport, I intend to wear these. I just bought these. They're called Hey Dudes. So they have this kind of canvas material, very beachy. I got a leopard print, but I got kind of a subdued leopard print because I feel like this is going to be more of like a neutral. I intend to wear these at the airport because they're easy slip on. They also have really nice padding on the inside. So they're super comfortable to walk in. So this would be perfect for the airport. So those are the only shoes I plan to bring those three. And so I'll be wearing the Hey Dudes and the other two, my flip-flops, and then the nice sandals won't take up any room in my bag. So they're definitely the way to go. Okay, now I have a bunch of other random things. So they're not really going to make sense to go in any particular order. So I'll just go ahead and start grabbing some. Oh, I think I did talk about this in my other video, but I'll mention it again. I'm going to bring these uh, pre-moistened lens wipes for my sunglasses and for my regular glasses. I'm just going to grab, not this whole box, but like I'll just grab a bunch for the amount of days that I'm going to be going and take those with me for sure. When we're at the airport, I didn't, I'm not going to bring a big laptop bag. I am not working on this vacation. I figured I'm going to Mexico. I'm not going to have service because I'm not going to pay for uh, Wi-Fi or anything like that. I think I'm going to put my phone on airplane mode. And the only thing I'm going to do is film. I am going to film so I can have the memories and stuff for Sean and I, but, and also for you guys to enjoy. So if you haven't already subscribed, please, and you will see um, all our adventures while we're on this all inclusive. But other than that, I'm not working and I'm only bringing this small little baby 
backpack with me on the in the airport so it's perfect because this front pocket got this at target as well again i'll link everything below and um, this front pocket fits my phone perfectly and any other like you know put your um your ticket your boarding pass all of that kind of stuff and then it also has this opening which will fit my uh, bose headphones perfectly in there so i'll put my bose headphones i will likely just in case my bags, I'm get, I plan on checking a bag. Just in case my bag gets lost and I'm out of my stuff for a while, I will pack one of these bathing suits or one of these rompers in here. So at the very least, I know I'm good because I can go to the pool. So that's really all I need in here. It's just like my phone, my money. And I'm back. Sorry about that interruption. It's been like two hours. Uh, but let's get back into it. Okay, so my next item is going to be a laundry bag. I got these laundry bags, two of them. I got a gray one and the black one. And I, I just feel like this is something we always forget to bring with us whenever we travel is a laundry bag. But I spe specifically got this one because it is waterproof. So if we, towards the end of the trip, end up being in our bathing suits like the day before we're about we'll for sure be in our bathing suits the day before we're gonna leave but even the day of like if our flight doesn't leave until later we might be at the pool while we're waiting and so we could put our wet bathing suits in this and that it won't get everything else in our suitcases soggy which i think is amazing i i also will be bringing this i know it's um I know it seems pretty intense and it is but I have you know a lot of vitamins and such that I'm taking a lot of for like my hair skin and nails like potassium magnesium like stuff that I'm taking um, and so I, I got this and I don't think you're gonna be able to see it but it has oh where's my there. it's a Monday through Friday but each of these come out and then it has a morning, noon, and night. Therefore, if you were just gonna do a weekend trip, you could literally just take out your like Friday, Saturday, Sunday, or just your Saturday, Sunday, and just bring that with you. But because I'm going for a week, I'm gonna bring this whole thing. And I need it because I tried to fit all of the ones that I take for a full day into just the Monday through Friday, like normal one that's like, you know, this big or whatever. And it won't fit into the individual one. So I have to split them up to the morning, noon, and night and and do it that way. So yeah, I will be bringing this whole thing. And it's not too bad as far as like, this isn't going to take up that much room in my bag. The next thing I'm going to take is this protector for our iPhones. So you just put your iPhone inside and then you close this up and it makes it so it is waterproof. But you can still use your phone and like do the touch screen and everything. You can also take photos because it has the back end is open as well. And it has this cord. So you can put this around your neck and like walk around with it. I just really like the idea of it, especially at an all-inclusive because I know I'm going to have my phone with me because I'm going to want to take photos and maybe listen to music or listen to an audiobook. Like I will have my phone on me and I know I'll be at the pool. So it just makes me feel really good knowing that it's in something that's going to be waterproof. This will likely be the only thing I'm carrying because it's an all-inclusive. We don't have to carry cash with us. Like we'll have our little bracelets that they give you upon check-in and that's it. We don't have to carry wallet, <clears throat> none of that purse, none of that. So it'll just be my phone and this is perfect for laying by the pool and not having to worry about your phone getting wet. Now let's talk about sun protection. I was mentioning it earlier with the hat. So that's definitely a way for sun protection. The, the way like your clothing, hats, sunglasses, things like that are perfect for sun protection. But you also need sunscreen. And I was looking all over the place for a good sunscreen. I really wanted uh, the Sol de Janeiro brand 
had like this shimmery like sun glow stuff and it had like a bit of it a bit of a tint to it and I really wanted that one but they ran out of the color that I needed and I realized it didn't have SPF in it so I looked online good old Amazon had a uh, copper tone glow protect and tan it has UVA UV, UVB protection and a gradual tanner since I have zero color right now and because and I got the SPF 30 so I don't want to burn at all. <laughs> Ideally, we don't want any sort of burning on this vacation. And so this will protect my skin from the sun, but also give me a bit of color, which I am so excited about. That's a brilliant, brilliant thing that Copper Tone did. I highly recommend this. I've already used it at, um, at the beach and, and I really like it so far. So, and it did an excellent job. I was kind of worried, like, should I have gotten the 40? SPF should I've gotten the 50 SPF but I did really well with the 30 no problem while in my quest for the sunscreen I also bought this uh, glow screen body and this stuff I haven't tried it's SPF 40 and I haven't tried the body version yet I do have the one that you put on the face and I've been using I've already gone through I went through the sample that I got of it and then I bought two more of these and this is my second one so I already know that I really like it for the face it just gives you this exactly what it says glow on the face but it's a 40 SPF and it does like it doesn't have um let's see if I put it on So you'll see it has a bit of color. Let's see if it'll focus. There we go. It has a bit of color to it. So let me, uh, like obviously that's a lot for just my little hand there. Let me see if it'll focus. You can really get a good idea of what it looks like. There we go. See how now I just have like this glow. This stuff's amazing. I have been using it on my face and I love it and I put it here too so on the chest neck and on my face and I absolutely love it I will do this on a day that I don't even wear any makeup just because it gives you this just gives you a little bit of a glow and it makes you feel like <laughs> like you're not dead inside I don't know um so I mean so I was like oh maybe I'll do the one for the body but then I was like I am so light I need something serious and I know it's a 40 SPF but I was like this doesn't seem like it's gonna be enough so that's why I got both so I will be putting this on first and then I'll be kind of like highlighting with this one that's my intention seems a bit much a little extra I don't care that's what I'm doing that's what I would recommend doing actually I also am bringing from, so the, I don't know if I mentioned, but both of these, the glow screen body and the glow screen for the face, both of those are super goop. And I've mentioned super goop in one of my other videos for favorites. And it's the unseen sunscreen. So this one is just like a gel type sunscreen. So there is no tint to it it doesn't give your skin a glow or anything like that it's literally just a that's why it's called unseen sunscreen it looks like absolutely nothing and so if I feel like I don't want anything on my skin maybe maybe after I've been there for a little bit I actually have a natural glow from from this or whatever I just don't want to put makeup on then I will use this so this is also coming with me since we're still talking about skin and protection and that sort of thing, I will be bringing this. This is Aloe After Sun Spray. It, so it soothes, cools, and hydrates the skin. I have already used this. And uh, when I went to the beach, I put sunscreen all over and I forgot my feet. Don't forget your feet, people. Don't forget your feet. <laughs> So I forgot my feet and so I already used this on my feet and um, and it was amazing. It does have this cooling sensation and if you've ever used the other aloe vera gels, 
they come in a thing where you have to squirt it out into your hand and then you have to rub it onto the areas. Well, the most tragic part about that is when you have a sunburn, you don't want to be rubbing anything on it. You don't want to touch it. This is freaking brilliant because it's a spray. Like, and it feels so cooling. Like, you don't have to touch it. Like, I could just spray it. So good. So good. So anyways, I'm bringing that and it's not an aerosol. So it should do fine on the plane. Next, let's talk about other types of body care. In my fragrance video that I did recently with Sean, we were talking about Sol de Janeiro, their Coco Cabana cream. And we love, love, love the scent. Literally smells like summer. It smells like, it says Coco Cabana, smells like coconuts. It's so good. So we have a, a much larger one of this in our bathroom. I got the whole travel pack. So it comes with a moisturizing body cream cleanser. So I'll be using this in the shower. This will be my, my shower gel. We'll, we'll both be using this, right? But shower gel in that same scent, the cream for after the shower. And then they also have a body spray. So I will definitely be using this as well. I'm so excited about this. And it comes in this container that is definitely, like if something spills in here, it's not getting on the rest of your stuff. So it's like brilliant how they do this. It's a travel pack with its own little travel bag. Love it. I will link this below. They have it in the Coco Cabana, but then they also have it in the orange one, which is the most popular one that they have. But this one, this one's better in my opinion. It's my favorite. So I also wanted to get that same Coco Cabana in deodorant, in shampoo, in conditioner, like literally everything, but they don't have it in all of that. They have just the the body spray, the cream, the um, body wash, and not in the deodorant. So I had to get the orange one in the deodorant and I don't mind it. I This stuff is so good. It's so, like you can't go wrong. Like you can get the orange one. It's still freaking fantastic, but I just, that the blue one or the blue this one is just like slightly better but i love both of them so anyways i got the full deodorant one this is the one i'll be bringing with me it is vacation it is oh it just smells so good oh and the texture of it so because i've already started using it i love it um the texture of it is so like smooth and i've been trying out a bunch of different deodorants for summer because the one that I like for the winter is the cashmere I'll pop it up on the screen I can't remember it's the cashmere one I talked about it in one of my other videos but that is perfect for for winter time for me because it's like it's like a cozy kind of uh scent but this one this is summer and I was looking for a good uh deodorant for summer not only because I need a good deodorant for summer, but also the scents I wanted to be summery. And I do think, you know, there are certain scents that will bring you back to certain times. And so I'm very aware of the fact that whatever I'm going to be bringing with me on this trip will then remind me of this trip later on. And so I think these are just going to be perfect for that because they have that beachy summer coconutty vibe and I just when I smell this I want it to take me back to Mexico <laughs> so it is I got the deodorant I got the the travel size conditioner when I went to Sephora they didn't have it the, the shampoo so I don't know if I should try to order that online or just use some other like drugstore shampoo or whatever but this is going to make my hair smell like that stuff and I'm so excited about it the perfume I'm going to be taking with me on this trip is going to be Sol. It's the travel size of it, and it's the Sol de Janeiro perfume. And when we did our perfume review, Sean, Sean was saying he liked it, but he only gave it like a two or something like that. And I was shocked, if you guys remember. Maybe I'll do a little clip back so you can hear it. I'm not really a fan of them. So for me, a three. Hmm. Maybe a two. For this? Yeah. Holy crap. Yeah. This is also a five for me. That's no, not my jam. Okay. But I would just like to say 
that I wore this, sprayed it, and then later on in the day, I was like, oh, husband, take a smell of this. What do you think? And he's like, oh, man, that's so good. And I was like, well, what would you give that? And he's like, that's like a four or five. He's like, what is that? And I was like, that is the same perfume that you said that you gave it to. So I'm just reminding all you guys <laughs> that when he initially smelt it and he smelt it on the little tag or whatever that I sprayed it on, he thought it was a two. But I guess after on me, after I've worn it for a while, it just gives this like, it, it changes the scent slightly and it's more of like a sweet kind of summery type scent and he absolutely loved it once I've worn it for a little bit. Like immediate upon spray on something else, like he, I guess, didn't really like it, but yeah. He does and I knew he did. I was so shocked when he gave it a two. I was like, what? There is going to be one night where we're going to go to, there's a restaurant that's a, that requires formal wear. And so Sean will have to wear pants and a button up shirt and I'm um, going to wear a dress and I haven't quite figured out what dress to get yet. <clears throat> so I'm still working that out, <laughs> but definitely if you're going on a trip, bring at least one dress that's going to be, you know, dressy. I know me and I know while I'm on vacation, I'm not going to want to spend a ton of time on makeup. So I don't plan on bringing like a ton of makeup. I will bring the stuff to do my eyebrows. I will bring some mascara. I'll bring some bronzer. I will bring some lip um, gloss. And that's it. Like I'm going to keep it at that. I'll, oh, obviously I'll bring highlighter. <laughs> I will for sure bring that. But I'm going to keep it pretty minimal because I know myself and I know I will put all of this on and then just go sit by the pool. And once I get in vacation mode, I'm not going to want to spend a ton of time like getting ready in the bathroom and like curling my hair. I've been on so many vacations where I've brought like a hair curler or a straightener and I literally never touch it because I you don't want to spend time inside. Like you're there to enjoy the amenities, the things that you're going for. So I fully intend that once I get in the vacation mindset, I will not be putting much effort towards that. So a hat it is, some cool earrings, sunglasses, put some lip gloss on and I'm good to go. <clears throat> but yeah, there will be one night where we dress up and we go out. I have to figure out, I'm probably just gonna grab a dress that I already have cause we're getting down to the wire. I, <laughs> we're going in like five days, six days. Whatever, we're going soon. I don't, I don't, and I don't really feel like doing a ton of shopping this weekend. So, there were some other things that people were suggesting. I looked online to get a videos just like this. That's why I'm making this video because I feel like it was super helpful for me. So here you go. I'm, I'm trying to show you what I have found and what I'm gonna end up bringing. But when I was looking for uh, videos, a lot of people said to bring floaties for the pool, and. You can just like leave them there or throw them out or whatever. You don't have to bring them back. But they were saying like, if you're going to be lounging by the pool, it's just so nice to have a floaty and float with it. Uh, I'm on the fence. Like I don't really want to bring one and then have to blow it up there and that sort of thing. But the thought of floating around in the pool does seem like pretty amazing. So I'm still contemplating that. And I'm sure I could like prime Amazon prime that and have it here like tomorrow if I feel like I want to do that. The other thing that I was debating was whether or not to bring um, a water jug like this, but I will because I know I'll use it in the airport and and then I'll probably use it there. And especially if they'll make drinks in it and stuff too, like that could be really useful. But I was thinking maybe not one like this. I was actually thinking about buying like one that's an actual cup and then has like one of those clear covers and then it has a straw like an actual straw, I know this is straw, but uh, you know what I'm saying, like one of the metal straws. Just cause to me, that's like a better, you know, container to have like by the pool and, and carry around with you and stuff like that. I can link below the ones that I was thinking about getting. I contemplated bringing a beach bag and I did see these really cute ones on Amazon that say like beach please and like weekend vibes and like stuff like that. But to be honest with you, I don't really want to be carrying around a ton of stuff. Uh, I really intend to just be carrying my little cell phone holder thing and then that is it. And, and if not, then I have my little backpack thing. Yeah, I just don't want to have like a lot of stuff with me. I just want to walk around and 
that's the beauty of, I feel like an all inclusive is that you don't have to carry stuff on you. You don't have to carry your purse with like your money and like all of this stuff. Like you can literally just walk out and be like, Oh, I'll have that. Thank you. And then like, go sit down. <laughs> so I, I intend to be pretty minimal. So I'm not going to bring a beach bag, but if that's your vibe, that's definitely, you know, a lot of people had that on their list, like get a beach bag, bring one, blah, blah, blah. I'm not going to bring any towels or anything like that. I'm going to just use whatever they have there. I think that's it, you guys. I'm really trying to think to make sure I didn't forget anything. I mean, I've, I just have stuff lying around everywhere because I've been collecting things over the past few weeks. You know, as I see them, as I remember them, I've been kind of putting them together. But hopefully I didn't forget anything or forget to mention anything. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. It's definitely different. Leave me a little sun emoji if you're also excited for all-inclusive vacations. Uh, you know, sub subscribe if you haven't already subscribed. I will be doing a whole vlog of my vacation in Mexico. We're going to Puerto Vallarta. I'm going to talk to you about the, the resort I'm staying at. I'm going to talk to you about the spa we're going to. I'm going to talk to you about the food, all of that stuff. So if you're interested in that, you need to subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you know when I post that video. And I will see you guys in the next one.